This is Burgas. There is no other place in the world where you could have so many pelicans right inside the city. It's one of the most important wetlands for the birds in Europe and most potential place for creating new breeding colony of pelicans, which is our mission. But wetlands we need belongs to the Luke oil. And just to enter their territory, you need to have a special permission. It's the largest oil refinery in Balkans. All of these wetlands are artificially made for raffinery, so-called oxidizing pools, where after several treatments wastewater stays here for natural cleaning, before going back to the sea. But these pools are widely used by many bird species, and especially pelicans. I've joined Pelican Way of Life, an international project which aim is to reduce threats for Dalmatian pelicans in Balkans. I already seen a flock of maybe 60 white pelicans, they're just flying all around here. Even if this area is closed for public, animals are free, they're not disturbed by anyone uh, beside us. So yeah, there are some pluses and minuses everywhere. cutting the reeds and we will use them to repair the platforms for the pelicans. So we stack them up there on a hill and then uh, we will use kayak actually to get to the platforms itself. So as you can see as we cut the reed we find a lot of rubbish, plastic bottles and stuff. So actually the platforms, it's kind of artificial islands. Yep, for, for yep. For that's the idea. There are very few places in Bulgaria where they actually could try to breed. The pelicans are very uh, sensitive to human disturbance, to fishermen. So we have good wet ones with a lot of fish, a uh, lot of food for them, but uh, not many places where they can successfully breed. So we hope that here in Burgas will be the next new colony. We are loading the boat right now with the reeds we just cut. We tie them together with the rope, which is also biodegradable. And this way we can keep them together, so they don't take an over by the wind later. That's kind of to imitate natural islands for the pelicans. Very safe place for, for nesting and breeding. The platforms there are like back there, I can see it. Should take about 40 minutes of kayaking to get there. Two person will be riding a kayak and uh, I'll be on a cargo ship. So two types of pelicans here, Dalmatian and great white ones. Dalmatian are more endangered than the white pelicans, so we concentrate more on them. So here you can see how pinkish this one is. And it mm. always has like the pink ring around the eye. This one is more like um, a greyish one with a blue eye. They always have the black underwings and the Dalmatian pelican doesn't. Mm, you never go to in the edges because it's you can very easily fall. It's not stable to go in the edges, only in the okay. middle part. Okay. I just don't see where is the middle. Yeah, That's the middle. <laughs> what happened? Huh? There's a rope, the boat is hooked. <laughs> anchor is off! <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> it takes a real man to row with an anchor. <laughs> In order to monitor conditions of wetlands and bird populations, we need to conduct constant bird counts, because healthy bird population also indicator of healthy wetlands. A little bit more than a 100 of uh, the white-headed and the uh, are 58,000. Sometimes, when we are lucky enough, we can catch a pelican and put a satellite transmitter on it. This way we can track him and get very precise data, almost in real time. Just now, it was for this minute, it's here. 
and there at least uh, probably 700 pelicans at least. 700 pelicans? Yeah. Our pelican joined a huge flock, but unfortunately we couldn't get closer to them on this day. The main threats for Dalmatian pelicans are human disturbance, persecution by the fishermen, habitat loss, uh, degradation of wetlands. Also, big problem is uh, collision with power lines. But I haven't been prepared to realize how serious is the problem with power lines. Wow! Here they were 38 in this pile. So, like, it's for, for just during this season? Yeah. Quite fresh from August. Shit, it's insane. Just from one electric platform right behind me. It's like the ground here is full of dead carcasses of white storks and other birds. It's a dangerous type of pylon, and if it's not isolated, uh, the birds die from electrocution when they land on it. The plastic thing you see here, it's uh, for uh, landing. Now we have a new technology, which is a lot more better, and we don't have any found dead birds under uh, pylons with new type of isolations. This will be fixed in the next few months. It will be like a huge conservation success because thousands and thousands of birds died here on this area. Mainly white storks because of the dump yard. That's ornithological hotspot in Bulgaria right behind me. Have a look at this. It's a bit sad, but yeah, there is a lot of food for birds. Right behind me there is a power lines with the bird diverters. They basically help to notice the lines, they produce sound, they also have phosphorus and they're visible at night. And this way the birds can avoid the lines and pass safely. Otherwise uh, it's a very dangerous place. There is a lot of collisions with the lines for the pelicans. Because uh, from this side there is an important lake. Uh, the birds. The but price the of only one of these diverters is something around 50 euro. 50 euro? But yeah, it's just it's basically a piece of plastic. Yeah, but it's very expensive. It's a bit challenging to install it. Uh, you need to use the drones and also you need to arrange this with an electric company so they could turn the electricity off. Yeah, it's a quite a procedure, but the guests are doing a great job for trying to put as many as they can. Our job is to select the lines with best priority, which mm -hmm. are most important with most uh, victims, and uh, they will put diverters only on them. That's yes. why we are doing monitoring all the time of the dangerous lines. We collect data. When we install these diverters, uh, after uh, when we do monitoring, we couldn't found uh, any bird carcasses. So actually it's, it's working and it's the best uh, way to, to reduce the collision with power lines. That's how the conservation of pelicans looks like. I'm lying on this reed in the middle of the wetlands and the guys right there rowing me towards the pelicans. All of this reed is needed to repair the platforms for pelicans and they act as an artificial island uh, where they can nest safely and breed. My job is just to sit here and uh, keep the reed in balance and I cannot really move because it's really shaky and I, yeah, afraid to fall down. I really hope we will have a chance to come very close to the pelicans just to see them. We finally arrived at one of the platforms and the pelicans, yeah, they escaped of course, but they're right there behind the second platform, so they're very close. And we're gonna put a new reed and new slabs. Some words here. Give me a sec. Shit's happening.
ready for как? I'm a bit shocked of the state of this lake because if you just take your hand and scoop, you will get like it will be all black with an oil. Collect it in like five minutes. Or? Yes. Just one dip with the set. So that's everything that cannot be processed. You just like yeah, yeah, we scoop, with scoop a little bit with a net. Yeah. Shit, that's all oil. But I mean that's the purpose of this lake. It's like oxidation lake for the oil refinery. It was made for this purpose, kind of. But still, it's a, it's a bit shocking. This is after all the different stages of filtration, yeah, yeah, chemical course, treatment, yeah, yeah. etc. But still, there there is nothing else we can do industrially. So this is the rest. Like dump it here, let it. Sink. S sink to the bottom and, and let the, the oxygen from the air. So we take a sample and uh, later we'll analyze uh, for the compounds inside. We chose this place because it's the most secure place here in the Bulgas region. So the Dalmatian pelican is very sensitive birds and the species needs uh, suitable habitats where there's no any human activities and so that's why we choose this oxygen place. Pollution of the water, it's not a problem for Yeah, them? it's not a problem because uh, the pelicans use Mandra reservoir and Purgasco lake for the feeding sites. So actually in this uh, oxygen lake the pelicans only uh, roost, rest and uh, use the platforms only for this so it's not a problem for the birds to breed here. Our industrialization leaves less and less space for wildlife, which is forced to find refuge in polluted lakes, dumping grounds and other unsuitable habitats, full of dangers. Thanks to the guys I've met here, pelicans and other birds have more chances for survival. And hopefully we all collectively begin to restore and rewild nature more and more. Here's another video about the birds. I was on a mission to catch bird poachers. If you like what I'm doing, support me on Patreon and be brave to act.